all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having an incredible sunday yeah it's sunday today loyola chicago is playing illinois right now they're actually up at half so i'm sure by the time you guys watch this video that game will be over so fingers crossed man fingers crossed but trade deadline is just a couple of days away so back with another trade video today we've got a rockets lakers one i have a feeling rockets fans will not be loving this trade hypothetical but i got a lot of comments and these are exactly the types of comments i want to see on all my videos i want you guys to give me your opinions in the comments i want you to say just yeah exactly your opinions on these trades or just i mean on the video in general but more specifically for this video I want to hear your thoughts on this trade. I want to hear how much you hate it, how much you love it. So you can see it on the screen right now. It is Dennis Schroeder, Wesley Matthews, a first round pick from 2027, and then two second round picks for Victor Oladipo. So with the Los Angeles Lakers, with their injuries right now, oh my goodness, do they need to make a move? I think that Victor Oladipo is probably a very, very viable option for the Lakers. I think that this is extremely realistic. Uh, this is definitely something I could see happening. A trade like this, I, I would, would not expect to happen before the deadline. So get a lot of questions, get a lot of comments why no, why we haven't made any trades. Typically, Trades are done on the day of the deadline, so not a time to panic, not a time to fear, but this is something because this is a decent, this is a decent little package that we could get back. Now, I'll give you guys my thoughts on this trade right away. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan of this trade. Would I do it? Probably, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Wesley Matthews expiring contract Dennis Schroeder expiring contract uh, these are two guys I mean Wesley Matthews is 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 dog water he's just absolute dog water right now at this point in his career and especially for us like there is just no reason the Rockets would want to have Wesley Matthews pretty much there as a uh, salary filler Dennis Schroeder obviously making not enough to full to put in all of Victor's I'm not great. I can't think of any fucking words right now. It, pretty much Dennis Schroeder's $15 million in cap. It, it doesn't, it, it's not close. It doesn't equate. That's the fucking word is equate. It doesn't equate to Victor Oladipo's $21 million that he's making this year. So I see a lot of people wanting like Kuzma. <laughs> I get this a lot. Victor Oladipo for THT, Kyle Kuzma, and a first round pick. Like that was just that's just not happening. And then my other second favorite comment is when they want a pick that's before 2027. The Lakers have no first round picks to offer before the year 2027. So this is the quickest first round pick we could get. And this is exactly why I'm not a huge fan of this trade. I I don't know what Victor Oladipo's value is. I don't know. Obviously, I know we could not get Kuzma, THT, and a first for Victor Oladipo. Unless Victor Oladipo was having just an incredible year and he was open to committing to staying with the Lakers or with whatever team traded for him. But no talks like that have, have ever arisen. Nothing by, by any of those means. So... I, I think this is an interesting trade, and like I said, I would do it just to, to stock up all the first-round picks. I really want Victor Oladipo off of this team just because of minutes, and Kevin Porter Jr., although he did get hurt last game, he only got nine minutes in the first half, so it's... I, I really want Kevin, and this is why I want them to really shut down John Wall, and with DJ Augustine being on this team now is it complicates the point guard position just so much more. A lot of people don't realize this, but DJ Augustine's a very solid veteran point guard and he should be getting minutes. So he's going to be getting minutes. Well, guess what? The only minutes he should be getting minutes and the minutes he's going to hit into are Mason Jones and Kevin Porter Jr., which is for Rockets fans, rebuilding, not good, man. It's not good. We want these young guys to play. This is, I think, a very realistic trade idea, unfortunately, for Rockets fans. I know they're expecting a lot better, but 
2027 first round pick. What I do with these picks is I, is I like to stack them. I like to stack them, and you never know. You never know when a big, big name is going to be available via trade. All of these first round picks, they're gonna help in the package. So I'm thinking specifically like Carl Anthony Towns. I would love to make a move at Carl Anthony Towns next year if and when he becomes available. So let me know what you guys think about this trade. I, I'm not loving any Victor Oladipo trade I see. I, I, I'm not loving a single one. <laughs> and uh, they're, all, they're all just fine. But having Dennis Schroeder, he would, he would just further complicate this point guard role. Maybe they would buy him out. Maybe they just wouldn't play him. Maybe they, in fact, would shut down John Wall if they were to do this. I've got no idea. So this is unfortunately a realistic trade, I believe. Let me know your thoughts down below if you would take it, if you wouldn't take it. And uh, I'll see you guys later.